accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Addis Euclo. Waves of showers, that is a theme for today. Not an all day steady rain, but some periods of light rain. You can see the live view of our big cities right now. It does not look like much is happening. Little, if any, uh, rain right now reaching the ground over Harrisburg. I do see a couple of occasional drops, but uh, same goes over Lebanon, especially east of Harrisburg. Not much rain has gotten to you yet. Now, Further off to the west over parts of Franklin County, Willow Hill, you can see some light rain falling here. Yeah, things are damp, but again, none of this is all that heavy. And we expect pretty light rainfall amounts throughout the day today and maybe upwards of a tenth to two tenths of an inch. You can see our top rainfall amount since last night. Hummelstown up to 0 0.08 and most of that came earlier this morning. Lewistown, Lebanon, Camp Hill all at 707 inch and you can see the temperature uh, range right now it really depends on how much rain has fallen over the last hour or two. Lewistown, you're a little cooler, but Lebanon where it's still dry temperatures are in the mid to even upper 50. So warmer southeast. Cooler northwest is the theme right now. See the leading edge of the rain now continues to push eastward into parts of Dauphin, Lancaster and York County. So we'll zoom on in. You can see maybe a little steadier bout of rain now from Carlisle up to Newport. So mainly now affecting Perry and Cumberland counties. This stretches down into parts of Adams and Western York counties as well. Even in these places, though, it's not really all that heavy. What's happening is there's a cold front to our west and we're seeing some waves out ahead of the front. So again, a few showers over the next few hours and then a few showers this evening as the actual front crosses and then we've got some pretty cold air to talk about for the weekend. It's a brief shot of cold air, but man, you're going to notice it if you got to get outside either tomorrow or especially on Sunday. So you can see in our precision cast light showers continue to overspread the area over the next few hours. Then this evening, that's when the actual cold front crosses. So here's 830. You can see another batch of some showers. That's going to roll through and then overnight we start to quickly clear out and the winds will start to pick up too. This is as that drier and colder push of air moves in. Now tomorrow it will be colder. It will be windy. There can be some snow showers or perhaps even some brief squalls just west of the viewing area. I think some of our western counties could see some light flurries or snow showers during the afternoon and evening, but I don't think snow squalls are a big threat here, especially with temperatures tomorrow expected to reach the low to mid 40s. But look what happens by Sunday morning. Most of us are well down into the 20s and the winds at this time are going to be gusting over 30 miles per hour at times. So Sunday morning, yeah, wind chills are going to be way down into the teens. It is going to feel like a mid January start to the day. And then Sunday afternoon, we only bounce back into the upper 30s. We do enjoy a little more sunshine, though, to end the weekend. But if you're not a fan of the cold weather, well, don't be uh, too disappointed because watch what happens next week. So here's this little bowling ball of cold air as it comes in this weekend. And then once we head past Sunday, look what happens. This ridge starts to build across the central and eastern part of the country, and that means temperatures are going back up above average. And we're not just talking for a few days, likely most of next week will feel like early spring. So temperatures this weekend really tank by Sunday, barely making it to 40 wind chills that time Sunday morning in the teens. And then as we head toward next week, James, not too shabby. Lots of sunshine, first day of spring, Monday, and hey, it's going to feel like it. No big storms on the horizon, too. So I'm waving the white surrender <laughs> flag for the winter. we got to see that. I'm waving it. Yes. I think it's done. It's been a, you had, you put up a valiant fight. Oh, not, not this winter. I didn't, <laughs> but you, you, you tried. I tried. You tried your best. I did. I failed. <laughs> we'll be right back.